Hey, it's Funk Roberts with Fitfluential Moves, and today we're fitting in fitness over the holidays with this awesome beginner bodyweight workout. Stay tuned. Although the holidays are a great time to celebrate with family and friends and eat good food, it's also the time we find ourselves piling on the weight. So what I've done is put together a six exercise beginner bodyweight circuit that you can do anywhere, anytime, that will not only burn calories during the workout, but also after. All you need is a gym boss timer and 20 minutes of your time, all right? In this circuit, there are six exercises that you will be performing for 30 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds rest. That means for 30 seconds, you'll be doing as many reps as possible with good form and then rest for 15 seconds and move on to the next exercise. We do all six exercises, one after the other, and then rest for two minutes, trying to get two to four rounds. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now I'm gonna take you through each exercise one after the other, showing you technique and form. But you'll also see a pop-up box right next to me that'll show you the speed at which you wanna target doing each movement, okay? So let's get started. The first exercise is the bodyweight squat. Love this exercise, amazing for lower body, your quads, your hamstrings, and of course the glutes, okay? So you wanna stand with your uh, feet shoulder width apart, and I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see exactly how the movement works. And you want to slowly sit back and down, keeping your heels on the ground, going as low as you possibly can, even actually squatting if you can or sitting, and then using driving through your heels, you want to explode up. So let me try that quicker. So when, again, you're sitting back, like you're putting your butt to the wall, sitting back, lowering yourself down, and then exploding up. Okay? So you want to go down as low as possible. Some of you may not be able to go down that low. That's okay. The more you do this exercise, the better you're going to get. So let me show you again. Inhale it on the way down, exhale on the way up. Inhale it on the way down, exhale on the way up. So my hands can be anywhere, and this is the movement. Again, driving through the heels, keeping your feet on the ground the whole time, trying to keep your chest up the whole time, so you do not want to be forward, you do not want your heels to come off the ground, and you want to drive through the heels. So powering up through the heels. That's first exercise, our push-ups. All, all time favorite, great exercise for upper body, shoulders, chest, and of course your core strength, okay? So you're gonna get in the push-up position, and everyone starts in the regular push-up position. No matter what level you're at, you're gonna try to do regular push-ups first. You want your hands, let me show you again, your hands just under your shoulders, your shoulder, arms shoulder width apart, okay? And then uh, you want your body to be completely straight. So as you can see, I'm not sagging down, and I'm not pushing my butt up on the, uh, into the air, I'm actually a straight line. And then you lower your chest to the ground, inhaling, and then exhale on the way up, okay? Pushing down on the ground through your hands, keeping your whole, your body straight throughout the whole movement, and then pushing straight back up, okay? And you wanna keep your elbows tight and keep them pointing back. Try not to let your elbows flare out. Okay, so try not to have your elbows flaring out, you want your elbows back. So here's the movement, it looks like this. Inhale the way down, remember. Head up. Try to get touch your chest to the ground if you can. And there you go. Third exercise, running on the spot. So now we're gonna get the heart rate going. Cardio, cardiovascular, get that metabolism going so you can start burning a lot more calories and fat. So running on the spot, high knees. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your left uh, foot up and your right arm up. Right, so left foot up, left knee up. Right arm up, your left arm's down, and then you're gonna switch. All right, so keeping your balance, you're gonna switch. Okay, so that's the running style I want you to do. Now when you're, when you're running, you wanna also land softly on the balls of your feet. You don't wanna be running like this, and you want your knees up. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so try to go as fast as you can. Knees up, breathing the whole time. Now, I understand that during the exercise, you may get a little fatigued, especially if it's a beginner, so you just try to bring your legs up as high as possible. You want your feet to leave the ground, and you want to land softly. Okay, use your arms to help you, and keep breathing throughout the exercise. So, line leg raises. So, basically, what I want you to do is lie straight on the ground, you have your shoulders off the ground, and, and raise your legs about five inches off the ground, okay? 
And then what you're doing is you're tightening the core. It's a great exercise for your lower, lower abs, core region. Raise your legs up to about a 35 degree angle. And then back down. Up and down. So as you're raising them, exhale. There you go. So you don't want to go too high, but you also want to bring your, your legs down and you do not want to touch the ground, okay? So you're going to feel this all the core region right now. And you're probably going to feel this in your hip flexors as well. If it's the first time you're doing this. From there, we go into a plank. We're almost done. A plank is elbow your great exercise for the core. You're going to build core strength and you're going to feel it in your shoulders as well. You put your forearms on the ground. Again, uh, shoulder width apart. Your body has to be straight. So as you can see now, you want to be as straight as you possibly can, and you hold. And now while you're holding, you want to make sure you're breathing, and you're pulling your, your, your abs in. So you're tightening your abs, pulling, trying to pull that belly button to your back. And breathe. Breathe throughout the whole movement, okay? Uh, it's very important. You're going to feel it in your shoulders. You're going to feel it probably in your forearms if it's the first time doing it. But you got to stay tight. You've got to keep your core tight. Okay, try to go as long as you can throughout the 30 seconds without having to stop. If you do have to stop, that's okay. The seal jacks. Love the seal jack. Again, we're getting the cardio going. We're also going to work a bit of your shoulders. And you're going to feel this in your glutes and your legs as well. All right, so I want you guys to start. You're going to start with both feet together and your arms in front of you at shoulder height. And then you're going to spread your legs and spread your arms at the same time. So it's like a modified jumping jack, a different version of a jumping jack. Once you land, you're going to immediately go back to the center, the start position, which is your feet together, arms together, landing softly on your, on the balls of your feet, keeping your knees a little bit bent, okay? Keeping them loose. So it looks like this. Breathing when your feet come together, breathing out. Exhale. Basically, that's the, that's the move. So again, you want to make sure you keep your, your arms up. As you, as you fatigue, you'll start to drop. Keep those arms up, landing softly on the balls of your feet, and, uh, and keep breathing throughout each exercise. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Please don't forget to leave your comments below and subscribe to this channel, and follow Fit Fluential on Twitter and Facebook. And if you want a way to lose weight and stay fit throughout the holidays, then pick up my Funk Roberts Holiday Fitness Survival Guide at funkholidayfitness.com, and it's your turn to get it done. Fitfluential on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And be sure to follow us, Stephen Bonnie Feaster, on Facebook and Twitter or your favorite social media outlet. Fitfluential Moves will keep you moving.